if you've seen any Angelo State men's basketball game in the past three years, you've seen number 23 Amari Gadul hit jumpers, snuff out opponent's shot attempts, run up and down the court like his life depended on it. Now that's just an expression used in the sports world, but nearly 20 years ago, that's exactly what he had to do. Amari was born on May 18, 1994 in the city of Bukavu in the country known at that time as Zaire. The country was run by a dictator named Mobutu Sese Seko. Two years later, a man named Laurent Kabila, notorious for his child soldiers, led a rebellion which turned into the First Congo War which lasted a year. In 1997, Mobutu fled the country, the conflict was over, and the Democratic Republic of Congo was born. But unfortunately, Kabila brought little true change. The rebel leader alienated his allies, which sparked the beginning of the deadliest conflict since World War II, the Second Congo War. I can remember sometime we had to like run away from the town so that we can be safe. Like got some memories of just me and my family going to another town to try to be safe and try to be away from the war. The war Amari was referring to came in the form of the brutal oppressive rebel group called the Rally for Congolese Democracy, RCD for short, which was led by Colonel Jules Mutabusi, a man who allowed acts of brutality against populations he and his troops came across. In 1998, he had his sights set on Amari's hometown of Bukavu. So he came in town and he had a town for like two weeks and I remember during that time, it wasn't really safe for us to stay in town, so we decided, like my dad decided that we, we, we needed to leave. My older brother just came and picked me up and said, man, we're leaving, and I just followed the group, and I didn't really understand what was going on. Amari and his family, which included his parents, five brothers, and six sisters, got on a boat and traversed their way across Lake Kivu to Goma, more than 100 miles away in the dead of night to escape Mutabusi. But this was just one instance. There were several other times Amari had to flee with his family in the middle of the night to escape the terrors of war. In 2003, the war ended. But by that time, Amari had seen his fair share of the damages of warfare. Then when he turned 14, he moved to the capital of Kinshasa to live with his mother. Not long after, he attended high school at the Creighton Laser Hill Academy in Kenya, where he picked up the sport of basketball and caught the eye of a coach named Tony Molden, who also doubled as an African missionary. He introduced him to a Texas basketball coach named Larry Brown. He had a camp for like three days in, in Nairobi. I got invited to the camp and from there he selected me and wanted me to come play for him at Rancho Junior College. But Coach Molden was talking about moving Amari out to Texas for a sport he just started to play. But the Bukavu native took a leap of faith. And just like that, Amari left his war-torn home continent for a basketball life in America. For KLSD Sports, I'm Andrew Nepson.